Hello, in this lesson we'll talk about Joomla security issues. As you know, some uh, content management systems have uh, some issues with the security, so Joomla also has some security issues and we will talk about uh, them in this lesson. So first of all, we'll talk about Joomla templates and um, I would highly recommend to use uh, original templates and to buy templates from the creator of the templates, not to download them from uh, some file, some sites such as torrent sites, because they uh, all these Joomla templates uh, have a lot of uh, security issues. Of course, they have a lot of Mm, spam links so I would highly recommend to buy Joomla templates from the original sources and uh, they are not that expensive for 30 to 50 dollars you can get very nice and very professional templates and uh, of course they won't have security is issue issues such as uh, the templates from torrent files alright so the next issue with the Joomla with the Joomla security is the administrator folder as you know to um, to control your website from the uh, back end you will need to go to your website in this case this website is built with Joomla and when you type slash administrator everybody can see that you are using Joomla and they can uh, harm your website so we will need to protect this folder in order to uh, prevent some hackers from harming your website so we'll talk about two ways of preventing uh, this to happen the first one is a special plugin which is called JSecure and the second one is custom HTAccess file which you can upload uh, using your FTP program. So the first option is uh, JSecure plugin. You can go to Google and simply type JSecure. Here it is and you will find it in the Joomla extension directory. Here it is. This is very nice and very light plugin. It is 5 kilobytes and here you can see the options of uh, this excellent plugin. It will block IP, uh, some IPs from accessing your administration area. Also, it will allow you to uh, access your administration area using master password. Also, it will improve your backend presentation and improve your uh, security on your Joomla site. Alright, currently this plugin costs around 10 bucks but I would highly recommend to use this excellent plugin so now let's see the plugin in action first uh, we will log in in our uh, example of this website let's look into this website and let's see this plugin in action. I've already installed this plugin. It's very easy. If you want to install it, you just go to the extensions tab, click on install uninstall, and simply choose the plugin. From your computer and install it on your website. All right, so let's have a look at this plugin. Here it is. And I will activate this plugin. All right, now it's activated, and let's see the options of this excellent security plugin a 
I'll just click on the plugin and it's enabled and here's the trick here we can put our uh, custom key which will be after administrator uh, folder all right and after the question mark for example I will I will type pick a house and let's check what will happen also we have the option to redirect if the login is unsuccessful redirect to the indexed page or the custom page such as um, maybe error page on your website I'll just click on apply now we will log out of the admin area and let's have a look what will happen after we type administrator and as you can see it redirects to the main page alright so to have an access to the administrator area we will need to type administrator here then slash then question mark and then our key that all that only we know about all right so you can type anything here as you can see we are in the admin area it's very easy to use this plugin it's very light and it will protect your website from unwanted access all right the next trick we can use for securing our admin area is this uh, HG access file which you can upload to your administrator area here it is and now if we log out as you can see we have an internal server error so in order to use this uh, the admin area we will need to go through FTP and simply change the name of this file for example we can make it txt file and if we refresh the page again it will go back to the administrator area usually I'm using both of these uh, options to secure my website very well so the first one is uh, jsecure plugin and the second one is uh, this custom HG access file which I uh, always upload to my Joomla sites and whenever I want to go to the admin area I simply change the name of the file from txt sorry from HG access to txt file and then I have a option to log in to the administrator area and then I'm using the key from uh, JSecure plugin to get into the website so this is a very good option if you want to be sure that nobody will uh, get in the admin area so I would highly recommend to use both of these methods okay you can find this HG access file in the on my website and you can download it for free and use it for your websites you can use it for your Joomla sites or you can use it for your uh, WordPress sites as well alright so um, whenever you want to protect your website your admin area or your administrator area you simply upload this file using FTP to your uh, administrator or WP admin folder and simply rename it when you want to use the admin area so it's very very simple you can download it from my website alright so now we'll talk about one very nice component which is excellent for securing and protecting your Joomla sites and it is called RS Firewall here's the official page of this excellent component currently it costs 49 euros for 
12 month subscription and updates you can also use it for multi-site subscriptions for 99 euros all right this plugin uh, sorry this component is very nice and you can go to your Google page and simply type RS firewall and read more about this excellent component all right also I'm using this excellent uh, component for all of my website so it will protect your files it will uh, protect your website from DOS attacks and it will also put a password for your administration folder so you can use jsecure or you can use this option and in my opinion this one is more professional so let's have a look at this component I have installed it on one of my websites and as you can see here are the options of this component so it will perform system check and uh, it will crawl your website and give you some suggestions uh, whether your uh, admin area whether your website is secured and how to protect uh, some some folders how to change some permissions and as you can see the grade of my website is currently 19 okay as you can see the folders permission is higher there 755 so we can change this and we can uh, uh, change the permissions of some folders to 660 for example now it is 777 we can do it using our FTP and so on you can read for your website suggestions from RS firewall okay so system logs who use who have been on your website system lockdown you can enable or disable this option it is very nice option for protecting your admin area and here are the firewall configurations All right so here we can enable master password to prevent unwanted access to your component RS firewall so we can blacklist some IPs uh, we can put additional password for our backend uh, usually I'm doing this with jsecure so I'm not using this option as well here we have backend access control active scanner and here we have all the important options of RS firewall okay we can enable active scanner I'm, I'm using this option we can protect our website from against DOS attacks I'm using this option as well we can convert emails from plain text to images also we can remove the generator meta tag from your template okay we can verify system variables for ISQL injections I'm using this as well we can verify system variables for PHP injections we can verify system variables for JS injections and we can verify uh, verify if uploaded files have multiple extensions or if uploaded files are uh, are with have uh, malware malware in there in these files okay and also we can put our email here we can type any email here and if we have some problems if RS firewall finds some problems with the security it will send an email um, and it will notify that something's wrong also we can send an alert uh, we can uh, set up the alert level for example I'm, I'm going with the medium because low uh, it will send you email if you are logging in your admin area so I'm using medium level alright 
also we have some RSS con feeds configuration and some updates I'll have to update this uh, component because uh, I've uh, I've used this website uh, very long time ago so I'll need to update this you know, component but I would highly recommend to buy this uh, soft uh, this component especially if you have a website for selling some stuff online and as you can see if you like this website on Facebook you will have 50% discount and instead of uh, buying this component for 50 euros you can buy it for 25 euros for one year so I would highly recommend this excellent security component alright so basically that's it about the Joomla security issues as you can see it's not very hard to repair this uh, security holes okay so uh, you can subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel it's YouTube slash go learn web or don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter on our website as well All right thank you very much for watching this video and I wish you good luck with your Joomla projects